Welcome to AgriAware Farm Walk and Talk 2020. Sustainability is the key topic for this year's Farm Walk and Talk, and improving sustainability on Irish farms is the key topic for the 2021 Leaving Cert Ag Science Syllabus. We'd like to thank UCD Lines for hosting us here today. I would like to welcome you all here to Lines Farm uh, this morning. Unfortunately, because of the precautions around the COVID-19, you cannot be here in person. But we will put all these presentations up on the UCD uh, social media sites and you'll be able to view them from the luxury of your own home. I hope you enjoy these video resources and I look forward to seeing you in the future. I wish you every success in your future prayers. Hi, my name is Sinead Flannery and I am the Acting FBD Lecturer in Farm Health and Safety at UCD. I am going to talk to you about farm health and safety and the importance of safe work practices in all agricultural activities. So sustainability is a concept which is most often associated with the environmental impacts of our decisions and activities. But sustainability is about more than being green, it's also about people. In order for farms to be sustainable, we must look after the safety, health and welfare of one of our most vital resources, which is the workers. In Ireland, farming is one of the most dangerous occupations, accounting for over one third of all workplace fatalities. Children and the elderly are particularly at risk on farms, with 47% of all farm deaths involving children and those over 65 years of age. The main causes of farm fatalities on farms in Ireland in the last 10 years are tractors and machinery, followed closely by livestock falls from a height, and drowning and slurry gas poisoning. Okay, so tractors account for over one quarter of all farm deaths, while machinery accounts for over one fifth of farm fatalities. Machinery is the main cause of deaths among children and the elderly, and so therefore children should be kept away from farmyards, farm vehicles and tractors, while the elderly should be aware of uh, farm tractors and vehicles movements and the crush zones associated with livestock and machinery. Crushing is the number one cause of death associated with machinery and tractors, followed then by being struck. A particularly important feature of any farm vehicle is the use of a PTO guard which covers the PTO shaft. PTOs are the main power source for any piece of machinery attached to or powered by a tractor. A PTO can rotate at rates of up to 1,000 revs per minute and so can cause serious injury. Therefore, correct guarding is essential for farmer safety. With regard to livestock, cows and heifers are particularly dangerous as they account for half of all farm fatalities. The majority of people would expect the bull to be the most dangerous animal on the farm, causing the most accidents. However, this is not the case. A freshly calved cow and heifer are particularly uh, dangerous, and so extreme caution is needed when handling livestock, particularly around calving time. Good animal handling facilities, therefore, are essential for farmer safety. And finally then, with regard to slurry, the two main causes of um, death associated with associated with slurry are drowning and slurry gas poisoning from the gases associated with slurry. Therefore, best practice in relation to slurry management and handling is essential. For example, we should agitate slurry on a windy day, ensuring to stand upwind. We should ensure to remove all livestock from the sheds prior to agitation and control access into the shed. We should also avoid agitation alone and we must remember to stay away from the shed for a period of 30 minutes after agitation has been complete. It only takes one lungful of slurry gas to kill, with hydrogen sulphide being the most toxic gas associated with slurry. Hydrogen sulphide smells like rotten eggs at low concentration, but unfortunately at high concentrations we cannot smell it. So in conclusion then, we can see that farming is a dangerous occupation, with the main causes of farm deaths in the last decade in Ireland being tractors and machinery. So it is important that we must remember that our health is our wealth and we must think safety and be safe. I also want to draw your attention to this document, which is the Farm Safety Risk Assessment document. This is a mandatory document that must be completed by all farms who have three employees or less, and it can be found on the HSA website. The purpose of this document is to identify the hazards, assess the risks and identify the control measures required to prevent ill health and injury on your farm. So in conclusion, in order for farms to be sustainable, we must remember that it is important that we protect the safety, health and welfare of those both entering and working on our farms.